Hey all and welcome to another tutorial for KiCad. So there are days where you don't feel like making your own footprint or schematic symbol like we did in our previous videos but sometimes you can just download from the internet and upload it to KiCad. So that is exactly what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to download a footprint from Snap EDA. It's a website that I trust by making their own footprints so you can be rest assured that the footprint you download from here is correct and will be working and then just download it, import to KiCad, and you can use it in your designs. So if that is something that sounds like you want to learn, uh, just keep watching, give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, because I'm going to make way more KiCad videos in the future. We already have about 30, but that's not the point. So let's get started. So what you can see on the screen is the Snap EDA website. So this website I can highly recommend if you want to download some footprints. Uh, as you can see there's different parts, you can get pricings, things like that but the only one that I want to focus on is just searching for a component so uh, because my videos are mostly for beginners, people who just want to start learning about KiCad and PCB design electronics I was thinking about let's put a ESP32 dev module on our PCB so not the chip but the dev module itself so you can just search for ESP dev kit and then you'll see there's some stuff that should pop up. So here you can see all different dev kits. But on the right is important to note. So here you can see the data sheets available, the symbol, the footprint, and the 3D. Sometimes you get the sim mode as well. KiCad can also do simulation. I will make another video about that. So this is what we're looking for. Uh, I like to have my 3D models, so this one looks good to me. This looks like a normal dev board. I've got my data sheet, my symbol, my footprint and 3D. So let's go download. Just click on it and here you can see the symbol and the footprint. Nice and easy. You guys will have to register first. I'm already logged in. So you just push download symbol and footprint and here you can see it actually Snap EDA works for a lot of PCB design programs. I'll make another one for Altium but we're going to do KiCad version 4 and later. KiCad is currently at version 5 and now it says it found some components for you for Mauser if you want to order it, but we just downloaded it. So what you want to do is just paste your footprint somewhere in a folder that you know it is. Don't lose it. And you just extract it. Extract all. And if you open it, you'll see there is a step file, a library. Um, it just says Altium because I've got Altium installed as well. But this one's for KiCad. So just be careful about that. And now when we go to KiCad, now let's take the files we just downloaded and import it to KiCad. So I just created a project, for Snap EDA example, and here at the top I'll see preferences. So you can see manage symbol libraries and manage footprint libraries. So your symbols and footprints are two different things. So now we go first symbol and we global libraries. We click this add existing library table. We find where our uh, footprints was so mine is in a folder called footprints and there you can see I can choose it it already exists but because I already had it I add anyway so there you can see it there we go okay so now we're gonna add the foot footprint library we do the same the only difference here is you only have to choose the folder where it's in so if we go to footprints And we click on that folder. You can see we just click on the file. Okay. Okay. Now, when we go to our library, we can just push A for our library, ESP, dev kit, and there you can see it. Bam. Now we have to link the PCB footprint to this symbol. To do that, we just double click on it or highlight and push E. Either way will work. Footprint. We just have to make sure that it is here. ESP dev kit, dev kit, and there we go. Okay. And that's it. So now we got tools, annotate schematic, just to give this U1 a number. If I go tools, update, so I'll take my, my schematic symbol to a PCB, and there it is. As easy as that. 
Alt 3, we'll open it in 3D. There's no step file. Now to add the step file, we can just double click on it. 3D settings, open folder. So everything works with open folders. And then go to where we saved it. Mine was D, Plumper Projects, Footprints. And there you can see the step file. Okay. We've got a video on how to import step files as well, but that is, and there you go. Now you just have to rotate it. I never know which side, so I just do this until something clicks. There we go. How cool is that? So now you can see it's in the thing. So we just have to move it up a bit and down a bit. And there we go. We just imported a footprint in less than five minutes. So what this is nice for is if I already have a dev board that I just want to plug into a PCB, I can make use it for like this. So you'll see there is all the signal names are here. So if I make a PCB where I can plug it in, I can just use the opens. I already have a voltage regulator on there. I already have the programming of USB on it. So it's just nice. Whatever you've done on the breadboard, you can do now on a PCB. I hope that was helpful, guys. So we showed you now how to take a footprint from snap eda download it import it into keycad who knows you might never have to make your own footprint ever again but if you want to you can watch these videos they will also help you how to make your own other than that guys have a fantastic day i'll see you guys in the next tutorial